I used to think it was just the time of year. Boys get their calling and it just stays with you for life. I blame Sunday morning TV. As kids, if Sunday TV had been as compelling as Saturday mornings, we would never have started playing with firearms at such an early age. If only Sunday TV had been about the banana splits, about Joe 90, Captain Scarlet. If they'd just considered Thunderbirds over that whining screen test or open university. I'm 36 years old now and taking the usual route to the killing fields. Some would say you get a taste for war, but I can say, having sought the experience since I was 11, the anticipation of woodland warfare is terrifying. Me and my mates, the crack commando unit, out to do Hitler's Jerry's. Sunday mornings have always been about war in the woods near my house. War with guns, stick guns. This became our time. This was where we shared the headspace with those brave chaps that took on the guns of Navarone. On bonfire night, we were doing the bridge on the River Kwai with high explosives. In the winter, we went where eagles dare. The army cadets were on the cards for a short while. It was far too scary. Too much discipline from a man with a stomach and a moustache. Too much like the real thing. Only a step away from being called up. Only the pikey kids went. The adrenaline rushes we were after came from hiding from the enemy dog patrols. The excitement was often too much and enough to encourage bowel movement. We didn't care about getting dirty, wet, or ruining our clothes. You'd be too caught up in the moment. In the woods near my house, war was never far away. As the years went by, we'd move on to fighting the rival school here, running battles between the bullies and the hard nuts. We'd go watch, pretend we were there to get stuck in. Finding a camp was always a bonus. We were always on the lookout. Here, the older boys had been before us. The stench of urine was a sure giveaway. Always a case catalogue, copy of men only, or if you were lucky, razzle. Today, you can still bank on hitting enemy patrols. And when you do, it all kicks off. sons now, and I can honestly say, hand on heart, that I cannot wait for them to discover the combat lethality and free availability of a stick gun. I walk the woods where we spilt blood, where combat operations were undertaken, and I still find good sticks. Maybe I should keep them for my sons. I could tell you the exact make and model of each one, the calibre, the weight, the range. 
right down to the size of a typical exit wound.